1.1 million people living in northern Gaza have been warned to start evacuating their homes. More than 1,800 people have been killed, thousands of others running out of food and supplies as Israel strikes back. As Hallie Turner explains, a former Grovetown native who calls Tel Aviv home says it is beyond what you can imagine. Everything changed in the blink of an eye. One night, we are having dinner with friends. The next night, my husband is packing for war. India Naftali says plans for her six-month excursion to Israel in 2020 never included a three-year stay, COVID closing the border, a marriage, and a war. I never thought I would live to see something like this happen in my lifetime. She says she spent the last six days running from this piercing sound of fear. These are Israeli sirens in Tel Aviv, signaling danger is in the air. She says Israel is the size of New Jersey, a place where she feels peace and connected to her Jewish heritage. But right now, it's anything but peaceful. When there are rockets detected in the air, um, depending on where they determine the rockets are headed towards, um, sirens go off. So as soon as you hear a siren goes off, you head straight to the bomb shelter. While others shelter in place, praying to see another day. People are not going out. I mean, um, all I can see on the streets are just ambulances. Like I can see some of the highway from my house and I can see ambulances going back and forth. Um, but people are really just trying to stay in. Because if you get, if a rocket siren goes out, off when you're in your car driving, you don't really have a shelter. You just pull over, drop to the ground and just cover your head and hope for the best. As India prays, America isn't the next target. We've seen 9-11. We don't need to see this happen again. And I think Americans should be aware that America is intended to be next. In Augusta, Hallie Turner on your side. Right now, they say the best way you can help is prayer and donations, and you can send those to the Jewish National Fund. And tomorrow marks one week since all this started, so we're just beginning to get into this. Unbelievable seeing those images that continue to come in.